Hi guys, Sweet Nails here. I'm here to... Oh, look at my nails. Aren't they cute? Sorry. Distraction. Hello. Little ma. I love this. It's so cute. Anyhow, okay, so I'm here to show you a small haul from Shoppers Drug Mart as well as um, eBay. Um, I'm going to get into the Shoppers Drug Mart because there's only two things really um, that I had picked up. One is this uh, Physician's Formula Eye Booster Instant Lash Extension Kit. Um, you know, here's like before and after. Um, warning. Isn't it life changing? Okay. Brush on lash extension. So it's, oh, it says two minutes. It's only supposed to take two minutes for this. But, yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to open it up and see it. I will show you as well. Okay, so this little wand is like a bendy wand, so it's kind of flexible. Um, I hope this is in black. I don't know. It doesn't say. I'm assuming it's black. Okay, so this is the brush here. Just your regular brush. I do feel there is a bit of a curve to it, kind of like this. You can kind of see a curve and it's not very sturdy. Like it's not very bendable like it says. Does it say it's bendable? Oh no, that's the other one. Never mind. Okay. Wrong product. Anyhow, okay, this is the mascara. The wand is nice though. It's not as curved. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry, this is not my day. It, it's um not as curved as it shows in here, but you can see a curve to it. So just a regular mascara. And then these are, I'm assuming, the fibers, or it says extensions. So let's hope these are black and not, like, white, because I know some are. Okay, they are black, and that's, like, filled. That is, like, it is filled. I feel like that's, like, a lot to come out of this thing. Hmm. So it's just little fine hairs. Let's see if I can put it on my finger. You guys can see them. Not really. They're just hairs little fibers, and I wouldn't even say they're hairs, they look like just little fibers, very fine fibers. And now it's probably going to get all over the place from my fingers. So yeah, that's cool. I can't wait to try it. I'll let you guys know, I guess, if I like it or not. Yay. Okay. Moving on. Moving on, because that was a long time. Um, I got this L'Oreal, um, you know... Uptown Girl, Urban and Chic. It's a beauty kit. And it has mascara, and it comes with a free nail polish and a um, color gloss. So, yeah, let me just take this all out for you guys. Just one second. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Let's get to it. So I took everything out of its package. Um, let's do the mascara first. This is the one that has the 360 um, Luxor brush. I'll show you what that looks like. It's a little cute little packaging, though. Okay. Bonus. Okay, so let me just put that piece off. You can see, oh yeah, see, look at the flex right here. Oh, sorry, right here. And it, it flexes really easy. And it's got a really neat, neat design brush. I am liking this brush. We will see. Really cool, and it is black, obviously. So I'm really hoping that this is going to work with my eyes. I really have sensitive eyes. Oh, it does say black is black. It's number 374. Okay. Um... Again, I have really sensitive eyes, 
and I'm not sure if these two fiber mascaras are going to work. I'm hoping that this one really does because it's physician formula, um, and I expect a lot from them. But, um, yeah, we'll see if they irritate my eyes or anything like that. The mascara I'm using right now is Tarte, um, and... Yeah, you know, this is an alternative because it's only 8 bucks versus $18. So, yeah, we'll see. This is a L'Oreal Paris, obviously, color-rich lip gloss. It is in the shade 110. It doesn't tell me much, but let's swatch it. Oh, it's got a neat uh, little um, doe foot, but it's kind of tilted. I wonder if this is going to be sticky. Okay, it's not very pigmented, but it does have, um, like, an iridescence to it. You can see, well, maybe if I can get it to focus. Maybe it'll focus on the writing. No, no focus. Okay, so you can see here. There is a bit of a lip or iridescent to it. I'm not really getting a smell. It doesn't have a smell. Okay, yeah. I you know wonder if it's sticky. Let me put it on actually and see. Hmm. No, it actually doesn't. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It's really soft. I like it. Nice. Something to put over a matte lipstick, maybe, or something. And then last but not least, this is so nice. This color is gorgeous. It is in the color 110, and it's crazy for chic. Um, if it will focus. Crazy for chic. Okay, and I guess that's probably the name of this, too, because it's 110. It's the same number, so maybe, I don't know that lipstick is. But yeah, this is so nice. Um, I did swatch it. So here is the swatch of this color. It's really nice. This is two coats. And really smooth. It's hard to dry. Um, I like it. I like the color. I like the formula. It's really nice. Okay, so that's the makeup one from Shoppers Drug Mart, which took like roughly a minute there. You can see. All right, now I want to start with these. This is from eBay. I got these little crowns, um, and I'll try to put posts or in the description the um, seller so that you guys can find more great stuff. Um, these are little tiny crowns. Look at how tiny they are. They're so cute. I love them. I'm molding them. Okay, and then I have these lips. I have to take one of these out to show you because they are so gorgeous. I love them. I'm molding some of these too. And these ones, I like these ones. Um, they are curved. Oh, it's upside down lip. They are curved underneath so it does fit more mm -hmm. snug on the nail. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is. Sorry, that was Martin Lawrence and that was my BBM. Anyhow, so these are beautiful. I like how they're curved. I didn't know that they were curved, but I'm happy about that. And they're just so cute. Look at that lip. Isn't it cute? I'm molding you. I'm going to make you all kinds of different colors. Nail art, yo. All right, so those are really cute. I got those. I think they were like a dollar something, I guess. You know, maybe two. I don't know. I will... Post the seller and you guys can look. Okay, I also got a, another stamper. And this one, it comes with a little scraper, of course. I never use these, really. I always use a card. You can use a credit card or any kind of card. This is just the Creative Shop one. Okay. Let us see this. And, you know, it came in a brown envelope like they, you know, every other package from China does. But I don't like that it came in just this. There was no wrapping around it or anything. So, I mean, this cup could have easily gotten dented, 
or damaged somehow. Um, and even this, if it sat wrong and it, you know, pinched on it, I just, I don't know. I don't like the way it was shipped, but that's just me. It did show up fine, so I'm not angry or anything. Um, this is a very squishy, it's very squishy. It's sticky too. So I'm kind of excited to see if it does hold it. It sticks to the nail really good. The test, the true test will show it. But it is really cute. And you know, it's dark blue. I um, like it because I do a lot of white stuff, gold stuff, you know, some of the lighter colors. And I don't like using it on the clear one. Where's my little clear one I can show you? Because it's hard to see, you know, sometimes um, when you're using certain colors and that. So, yeah. And it is. This one's definitely, definitely more stiff. The cone is a little bit more larger, and basically the stamper is the same size, but this one's much thicker, and it's much squishier. This one has a little firmness to it. This one, like marshmallow, is this marshmallow? Sticky? Okay. And, moving on, that was a lot on that, but I hope you guys, you know, can make an executive decision and buy yourself one, or not from somebody else maybe. Now I have here three plates that I got also. I think these are all from the same seller. Um, this is cool plate number 007. Okay, and it has these beautiful little designs on it and a gorgeous butterfly that I'm going to be doing in a bunch of colors. That's gonna be fun going on in future. But yeah, all of these are beautiful. Um, I don't like that they're not that big. I mean, it wouldn't fit on mine. Well, I mean, I could fit it, but it wouldn't go all the way. You know, longer nails. These are kind of smaller. They are smaller. I don't know if I have a ruler on hand here. I probably don't. No. No, I don't. Of course not. But anyhow, we'll check that plate out. And these all came in just a cellophane thing too. So, I mean, it really these could have been damaged. But they didn't, which I'm glad. They're all pretty not bent. Um, okay, so this one is cool. Oops, sorry. It is cool 009. If I can get the glare out of there, sorry guys. Um, and this one has a whole bunch of stuff on it. Um, can I get it to where you guys can see it without the glare? Um, yeah. This isn't working out too good with this glare, guys, sorry. But you can see stars and um, balloons and there's like a little Madonna. Really, really cute. Like, oh, we're going to try that. And some shoes, really, really cute one, me likey. And then I got this one, and this one is cool 005, my lucky number. Um, and this one just has some crowns, um, some garlands, some lace, like really pretty things, rose, some really nice pretty stuff. Okay, so let's um, take a pause, and I'm going to pull all of these papers back while trying not to slice my whole hand off, and uh, we'll test this out and see if they're good. Okay, guys, I got everything out here. Um, let's start with let's start with this one. That's the um, the cool, or is it C O O I? Oh, it's not even L. It's an I. Hello. Okay. Blonde moment. Okay, I'm going to use zero and um, seven. And let's do a couple. Let's see. Let us see. Okay. Let me get my stamper and clean it just on my little lint roller. Ooh, that's sticky. That's so sticky. I hope this really works. I'm kind of like loving it a little bit. 
just my card. All right, let's try um, this beautiful piece right here before I do. Just going to give this a wipe down. Okay. Give it to wipe, give it to wipe. All right, let's see. My in frame here. I'm going to go like this. Where's my scrape or my scraper? Oh wow, it picked up beautifully. Oh my god, how exciting. Wow, that is beautiful. That is so pretty. Wow, that is pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, where's my I'm trying to stamp the rest of that off? I didn't want to go. Alright, ready for the next one. Let's see. Um Yeah, let's do this like flower here. It's picking up good. The stamper is really, really good. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, it's really, really good. And I would love to fill these in with different colors and, you know, then put it on. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Actually, this plate is very lovely. Okay, I waited too long a little bit. And it didn't all the way. It didn't all the way stamp. So you gotta like you gotta go a little faster but that is still beautiful all the lines are well wood stamped are good very nice very nice very nice okay and the next one I'm gonna just do the butterfly here on this plate And I'm just squishing them down. I'm not really rolling it. This is so nice. And it has eyes in it. Oh my god, they have eyes. You see that? You'll see it on the paper. Okay. Ooh. That's nice. The corner folded a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Look at that. Oh my god, that's so nice. I'm going to do that in multi-colors. Ooh, pretty butterfly. Okay. Let's try another plate. I will wipe that down in a few. All right, here's the um, 005, the crowns. So let's... Oh, wait, before I do that, should I give it a wash? Give it a wash. anything that's left on there from the sticky okay that's a pretty big one but I think okay this one is feeling a little bent here but we'll see Stamped okay, I guess. So it's missing. Ooh, it's really fine. Really fine. Mm. Nice. Nice. So far, these plates are pretty good. 
I must say, as well as the stamper. Um, let's do, you know, some of these roses or something here. Let's see if we can just get a couple of these in here. Very nice. They're so fine and delicate. Very pretty. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So nice. I like this crown. I'm going to do this crown here. Okay. Very nice. Picking up everything around it too, but that's okay. Oh wow. Okay, so that didn't stamp very good there. Hmm. Should I try it again? Just to see if it was me. Let's try it this way. Okay, that one was uh, much better, um, but some of it's still in the triangle is a little off, but I mean, really, it's good. It's an okay plate, I guess, right? For the price that we pay for some of these, you know, we can't really complain about it. Okay, so this one, this last one, I have to do this Madonna creature here. I'm just going to kind of get a couple of them. See if I can get a couple of them in there. Just do like a bunch at once. Okay, see it's like scraping. Okay, that didn't come off too good. But again, I did not clean it. I'm realizing now I did not clean it. Okay. Let me clean it. Because that can make a big difference here. Okay. Let's try it again. See, I'm pushing down all the way, but some of it is not, no. It's like, is it me? No, it's not me. Because the rest of the plates work fine. I want to give it one more go before I try something else on this thing. Let's just kind of focus on these two. I think you have to push it right down. Okay, that's better. It didn't come out perfect, but it's much better. Ooh, I like it. On a white polish, the red lips, bam. Really cute. I like that star too, if it would come out in whole. But hey, you know. Can all be winners, I guess. Huh. All right, let's try some of these like t-shirts and stars over here. Because this video is like going on forever. Oh, my stamper wasn't in all the way. That was not a good one. Look at it. I'm stuck to the paper. <laughs> okay. 
that was a fail. But I shall try again. If you guys are willing to watch. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Let us try and try and try again. I feel like you need a stiffer card to stamp these. Yeah. That one didn't come out too good. I'm wishing these were stamping better because I do like this plate. I do, I do like this plate. Alright, let's see if we can get these. No, that didn't even stamp. Okay, it's getting worse and worse. So, this plate, I don't know, it's not, it's kind of bent a little bit, but, you know, two out of three ain't bad, right? Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and my little kind of review on these little stampers and stamping plates. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll put all the information below. Thanks for watching, guys. Love ya. Till next time. Peace out.